Hey Libra, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today and today I am back with the series Torn in Between the Two and this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now I do want you guys to keep in mind for this reading that energy and time is fluid, okay? So that means that the cross watcher, which is definitely that, which definitely could be the person you're dealing with, energy can show up as yours and vice versa. So just make sure you switch the energies if need be. As far as time goes, this definitely can be something that took place in the past for you or that you're currently going through. It can also serve as a heads up for what's to come, okay? But I sure do hope that these readings provide you guys with some type of clarity, confirmation, or a heads up. If you haven't joined the tribe, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post another lit video or go live. Um, give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Happy Mother's Day to all the Libra mothers out there and Crosswatcher mothers out there, okay? All right, guys. So let's get into your energy. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of May 2020, Spirit. What is Libra's current energy towards their primary partner, Spirit? Seven of Raphael, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Ariel. So I definitely do feel like there's some confusion behind a coming back together or, um, you know, somebody trying to come back here. There's some confusion behind that, Libra. So maybe... Um, you are dealing with somebody that you felt like you had to, you needed some space from, you had to ghost somebody, or somebody had to ghost you. But the case of the matter is, you guys needed some time apart because for these two cards, I'm getting um, you need you needn't go through this current challenge alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self fulfilling prophecies. So I feel like you guys did go off for a little while by yourself, maybe a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Um, and somebody is wanting to reunite and come in from out the cold with you, and this could be your primary partner. So maybe there is a question as to if and how you guys are going to continue to carry on your union here, all right? The seven of Raphael is time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want to do and take action. A need for detoxification. So maybe that's the reason why... Um, you felt the need to kind of step away from your partner, but now they're asking you to come back. Is because things started to get toxic. So maybe you just needed some time, like away, so that you can see things with a clear, like clear vision. All right, spirit. So if Libra has a third party or a side person, what is their current energy towards their third party or side person? of Michael, a situation has ended and you finally are free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Okay, so the Ten of Michaels could definitely be the Ten of Swords, but it came out in reverse. So there's a sense of, you know, if you started something with somebody, then, you know, they could just be helping you get through whatever betrayal you felt over here or whatever reason, whatever ending you faced over here to where you needed to walk away and get some space and time from your partner here. Okay, let's get one more for Libra and their current energy towards their third party. Let's see. The two of Ariel, that's the two of Pentacles. Look, a decision has been being made. So I feel like you have a person that you... Basically, you was trying to close a cycle with here. And maybe you kind of went off to be by yourself. Maybe you had somebody around that was kind of helping you overcome this situation. And you got stuck between 
do I reconcile with my old person or do I start something new with this person that's helping me through the situation that me and my current person are going through? All right, so I'm definitely going to pull some clarifiers for both. Why is the seven of Raphael here for Libra towards their primary person spirit? Yeah, that's the thing. You thought this was ending. You know, I mean, I feel like you are healing from the heartbreak that this is going through. You know, you coming out of a feeling of defeat. I feel like you have very negative thoughts when it came down to this connection. And there's a sense of, there's a very much a lack of clarity here. Okay, so I feel like that's why you're so confused about coming back to this previous situation, Libra, because, you know, you were afraid of the unknown as it pertains to venturing out, becoming single and starting a new life for yourself. You were very afraid of closing a cycle. You were like constantly fighting and wanting, you know, a victory out of this situation. But there seems to be a sense where you just cutting your losses here. You know, you could be feeling like, okay, well, I didn't get the victory out of this situation that I wanted. And, you know, at first you was pining or harboring over that, like, damn, you know, all these time, all this time, all these years, this is you definitely facing fears, definitely being real with yourself. Um, there could be a sense of not only you being real with yourself about the connection, but, you know, maybe your primary person trying to confess some things that you are clear about, but I really feel like it's not being done. You know, even if they said they told you everything, they haven't, Libra. Because I'm still seeing lies here, lies and secrets and things, reasons for you to be unclear about the situation. I'm just going to clarify a couple of things because it's being real vague as to what these secrets can possibly be. But that's the thing. It's like they want to heal this connection. They want to fix the heart that they broke. But you feel like it's over and you're no longer afraid of being alone or facing some type of life without this person where I feel like, you know, before that may have been your fear. That may have been your thing. Like, you know what? I don't want to live my life without this person. They all I know. Now you just like, okay, whatever, wherever the wind blows me, I'm willing to go there. Damn, these cars is flying and falling. It's making me feel like I'm not supposed to clarify, but I need to. Because I want to at least know what the secrets are about, if there is truly any. Okay, so why is the unknown card here in reverse? I always feel the need to clarify the unknown card. Yep. Okay, so there's a sense of somebody new here. And that's the thing. That's That could have been what's being kept from here. If not then at first you were afraid to move on from this person because you didn't know that you can find somebody that would make you equally happy as this person used to make you. And you have. Now you know you can. So that's why the unknown is here. Because that's a sense of you like, I don't know, should I move on? What if what I find outside of this isn't greener? And now you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind. There's definitely there's definitely opportunities for new connections. It's not like this is not the end all be all, basically. That's what I'm getting from this energy. Why is the three of swords here in reverse? Yeah, <sighs> I'm not going to lie. It was a lot of anger. I feel like it was a lot of things that was said, a lot of things that was done, a lot of fights. Maybe it was physical abuse in this situation. Somebody here is just over a Libra, and I got a feeling that it's you. I feel like your person wants you back. You could be dealing with a cancer, but you're dealing with somebody that's extremely aggressive and abusive, and that's the reason why you made your decision. You didn't make your decision based on somebody else because we're getting the lovers here in reverse. They could also be a Gemini. Um, <laughs> but you you got a very volatile partner. Like, they very angry. I could tell that they jealous. Like, just look at his face. 
you know? And even if this is the woman in your life, they could they could exhibit a lot of masculine traits, like just wanting to be the boss, want to run things in a household, you know, and just be extra aggressive. So even if they are a woman in a household, then they definitely can be showing up as this angry, jealous male. Yeah, that's the thing. You stop fighting for this situation before because you kind of found somebody that you feel more compatible with. Somebody that's a, a bit more gentle. Somebody that you can see really, you know, like having something with because you're too unclear about the connection that you're currently in. Ooh. And look who we have here. So there's the third party for sure. This is definitely... And I feel like your person knows, um, Libra, so even if you're the masculine and you're looking at someone else, your person is looking at you and they know you're looking at somebody else, you know? And that can be as simple as them looking at your search engine, like, oh, this person, oh, they is searching this person on Facebook and Instagram and everything else, watching a page and stuff like that, like... They can tell, you know, they may be even tracking your text messages or just seeing you texting more than often or something like that. But, you know, current wifey definitely knows. And you could switch those energies too because for some of you guys, it could be the male that's watching his wife texting another man or another woman or whatever. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? You know what? Somebody tired of the lies. This is something that has literally ran its course. I feel like somebody here has been waiting for honesty, waiting to be clear, waiting for some type of clarity as it pertains to this situation. And you continue to get spun in the web of confusion because the person that you are dealing with doesn't know how to be honest with themselves nor you. And you're tired of that. You taking it as a fail. You're like, you know what? I've been working hard for a victory, but I'm pulling back my energy and I'm taking this as an L. Why is the Six of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Six of Wands in reverse? Yeah, you just, and I feel like you're sharing this with them too. I feel like telepathically, both of you know, because things haven't changed. You guys could have been together for nine months. Nine, I don't even know if y'all heard me say you guys could have been together nine months, nine years, 11 years, 11 months, you know, but regardless of what, the great fortune came out of re, in a reverse. And basically what I'm getting from that is that when you first met this person, you definitely thought that that was everything that you wanted, needed, and more. Like you were head over heels for this person. You went to bat for this person. And over the years, so many lies um, have been told. I feel like you've been waiting for a change from this person because maybe you guys got together really young. So you were trying to wait, like maybe they just need to mature or just making excuses for them. Time has passed. Things haven't changed. And now you're just tired. You're literally tired. Um, Libra. Okay. Why is it in a Michael in reverse? And I feel like that's the Ten of Swords. When it comes down to Libra and their side person or third party. Why is it Santa Michael here in reverse spirit for Libra towards their side person spirit? Yeah. And honestly, you could just be juggling a lot of work. You could be doing a lot of work, um, starting new projects, or the fool card could be here because you actually did meet somebody new. Um, they could be highly intuitive, a Pisces, or this could just be speaking to the fact that this person is some type of secret to you. Mm, this person can definitely, Libra, your new person can be at a distance. So it can be a hold on you guys actually meeting in person, seeing each other in person. Yeah, they definitely a cancer or got cancer in their chart. Honestly, I feel like they extremely intuitive because there's a sense of them kind of clearing up your confusion. 
letting you know that this was a karmic cycle for you. Again, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, Cancer. I got Gemini twice because I have the magician in reverse. <laughs> but there's something um, about this newer person that made you very clear on the intentions and the things that you weren't clear before when it came down to your primary person. So maybe this person is some type of advisor to you. It's not, they could just be a friend with like a strong intuition. You know, sometimes the high priestess represents the mistress. So they could have been that too. But all in all, I do feel like this person has a very strong intuition. And given what they know, um, there's a sense of you deciding not to fight anymore. Maybe they even encouraging you like, you know what, stop putting so much energy into things that's negative here because this is a karmic cycle. Maybe you didn't even know what that was before you met this person because I am getting high intuition. And I'm going to just leave this crown in the reading because there is a sense of you maybe feeling a strong spiritual connection to this person even. Okay, why is the two of Ariel here, spirit? The three of swords. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, I just feel like this person is around at a time, you know, where you are kind of heartbroken. I feel like that heartbreak is underneath the surface, but you do have a definite friend or like I said, potential romantic partner because I don't think that it's to the point of romance now. For some of you, it may be, so just take it as it resonates. But honestly, I'm just getting somebody that, you know, you focus mostly on work, but I do feel like somebody cleared things up for you. And that's why I feel like this person is somebody just with a heavy intuition because where the moon was in the upright when it comes down to your primary person is in the reverse here. So there's a sense of, like I said, them, be, them making you clear on what you weren't clear on before. Why is the two of Michael here for Libra? Yeah. But you know what? You go back. So that's there's that sense of confusion or your person wanting you to go back. Somebody here is stuck in the past. When I see the Six of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse, that's like going back to something here. Um, so I feel like a new offer is being given by the Queen of Wands, which definitely could be your primary person. There's a sense of you guys opening up to each other like even more. So, yeah, I'm getting with the Queen of Wands, and let's see who the Queen of Wands is. Who is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, the Queen of Wands could be your current person for sure. If not, that's somebody you're moving towards to make an offer to. I'm going to just clarify some of this. Why is the Chariot here in reverse spirit? Judication. One more. Put a chariot in reverse. Okay, so I just feel like... Here's the thing. You are trying to get out of an old situation, but it's just going to take time. Because it looks like over the years or months, things have been accumulated between you and your primary person. But while you trying to wrap up loose ends, they are definitely trying to convince you to let them to come back in because I do see that they want you back here. Why is the full card here? Yeah, and you wanna move on. So they want you back. They want to change things between you guys. They feel like change and re-examining the relationship is like basically the solution or the key, you know, but let's see why the high priestess is here. One more for the high priestess. I 
feel like given what you know, given what they haven't told you, given what you had to find out from a psychic, a tarot card reader, because literally this third person doesn't even have to be a friend, a lover, or nothing to you. They literally could just be you went to a tarot card reader, you know, and I feel like that encouraged you to move out. But now your partner is either wanting you to move back in or wanting you to stay instead of save your money to move out. So, you know, there's a sense of, I feel like you balance in between, you know, do I listen to somebody that's, that's on the outside looking in that sees my situation as toxic or sees my partner as manipulative or do I try to look at this situation because essentially I've been knowing my partner longer than I've been knowing this person, whether it's a friend, a new lover, a mistress, or just somebody that she went to for some spiritual advice. Okay. Why is the wheel of fortune in reverse? You guys may go through one more cycle, but it's still going to be the same. It's going to be a lot of work. Spirit going to continue to throw wrenches and things that really ain't meant to work out. Why is the six of cups here? In reverse, you go back. You go back because I feel like your ex is hitting you with the remember wins. And I feel like you guys do have a long history together. You know, a lot of you guys is seven, eight. It's anywhere from seven to 11 years together. Ooh. But you no longer protecting this connection. I feel like this person is coming up as a false person because, they're, you know, you've been loyal. I feel, Libra, you're coming up as the wealthy man and the loyal friend. You've been loyal to the situation and you feel like your partner hasn't. You feel like you've gotten a short end of the stick, like you've exposed them for who they really are. Um, and again... I feel like the high priestess in this situation, whether whatever their position, because for everybody is going to be different. For some of you, this is going to be a, a brand new friend or a love interest with a very keen intuition. You tell them their story, your story, they crack the code for you just like that. Boom. Connect the dots. Give you the story as it goes. For a lot of you, you could have just went and got a tarot card read because there was so much confusion and that last spread where your energy towards your primary person barely even knew them. It, it felt like, I don't know, like you was living with a stranger if you ask me because it was a lot of confusion and lies there. <laughs> but if you went to a tarot card reader or a psychic or a palmstress or anything like that. And they gave you the tea on your primary person. Then I feel like you are questioning whether you should go off of that. I feel like initially you did, but now that your person is asking you back, then you could definitely be questioning, should you listen to a stranger? Should you listen to some person that you just met that was giving you advice? Or should you listen to the person that you've been with so long? All right, but we're going to check their energy. We're going to check to see if they got a third party and if they got any, what their uh, energy towards their third party would be, if so. Okay, Spirit, when it comes down to the Cross Watchers energy towards Libra, what is the Cross Watchers energy towards Libra? They feel caught. No, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They're tired of waiting for things to grow here. They feel like this is a waste of their time, Libra. So that's the thing. They calling you back for what? Seven of Ariel, that's seven of Pentacles. Whenever the seven of Pentacles are reversed, that's like somebody that really don't want to invest in the situation anymore. This could be how they view you, though. They could be viewing you as somebody that uh, doesn't want to invest in them anymore. What is the Cross Watcher's energy towards Libra Spirit? Nine of Raphael. Make a wish. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. Reality. A joyful time in life. So my thing is, if you come back, they're going to feel like this is their wish. But for some of them, honestly, y'all breaking up is wish fulfillment for them. Because this is coming off as like, 
good. I didn't want to invest in this anymore anyways. That's what this, like, if I could put these two cards into a sentence, it would literally be good. I didn't want to invest in this anymore anyway. Okay. All right, so... What is the cross watcher's energy towards their third party if there is any? What is the cross watcher's energy? Honestly, your cross watcher towards their third party, I feel like the person that they move in towards or the person that they've been dealing with behind your back is somebody that they already divorced. Um, this is somebody that they either were with for years before they met you or it's somebody that they get a, getting a divorce from um, or this can be their energy towards you. Let's see. Shut the fuck up. I'm not trying to fire y'all. I ain't mean to cuss, but I hate people that just be loud for no reason. <sighs> okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, like I was saying, guys, um, Some of them are going back to somebody that they got a divorce from. And if not, then for some of you, you could have been dealing with a married person and they're getting a divorce right now. Why is the seven of Ariel and the nine of Raphael here, Spirit? Yeah, this is complete. I don't really know why they're trying to call you back in. I feel like they feel like you guys need to finish a lease or something together. Or maybe the only reason why they feel like it's unfair is because <clears throat> this is a situation where they're going to be left with a lot of responsibilities. But there's a sense of them knowing that this is over. This is a completion and that is definitely justified. This is not a happy connection. I feel like secrets are coming out. I saw, I see the high priestess in reverse. Their secret is out because you got some type of advisory from your friend. Look, man, let me tell you something. The cross watcher is a freaking liar. I keep getting this when it comes to their energy. Lies, lies, and more lies. Look, this is like a burden that's being dropped. I'm going to take it just because it makes so much sense. That this is a closure and completion. Two people just wasn't happy anymore, but I feel like uh, it wasn't being shared. Um, I feel as though, Libra, if this is your person and not you the other way around, um, I definitely do feel like with all the unknown things and the feelings of secrecy and deception around... Um, when those secrets came out, that was all you needed to hear to, to drop the situation. Because I feel like essentially you've been carrying this connection or that's what your person feels. And they've been juggling you as well. Okay, at the bottom of the deck is the star in reverse. There's a sense of lost hope when it comes down to the situation. Okay, let's get the ten of Ariel in reverse, which speaks to the ten of pentacles and the justice card. When it comes down to the cross watcher's third party. Are they getting a divorce from or are they going back to somebody they got a divorce from? Why is the 10 of Ariel in reverse? 
gosh, this is another ending. Y'all know what's so crazy? I feel like they could have been divorcing somebody to come to you and you y'all both turning them down. Maybe you waited so long you didn't even know they was getting this divorce. And they like trying to beg and plead with you like, I really did. I'm getting a divorce. And you like, you've been saying that for so many years. So you could have been like the chick on the side, honestly. So your primary person is your primary person, but it's somebody else's main person and that's the thing you went to a psychic to find out what has ever changed the secret is out about you so they person probably divorcing them with the nine of swords here there's been a lot of anxious uh like angst when it comes down to their household their marriage their situation because of this they coming up as the queen of pentacles and the nine of cups in reverse and the eight of pentacles so you definitely could have met this person at work. But what I'm getting is that everywhere, everywhere, this person's secrets are coming out. So if they marry, if this is a woman, their husband found out about you and they filed for a divorce. They could have been promising you already like, Libra, I promise I'm going to get a divorce. I'm going to get a divorce. I'm going to get a divorce. They wasn't getting a divorce. And... Finally, they got caught. Maybe their partner saw text messages or, you know, receipts or something that you guys were seeing each other file for divorce. Now they're trying to come be with you, but you already talked to somebody. Man, this is so crazy. This is karma. This is karma. Yeah, I feel like they just came to your doorstep like, hey. And you like, hey, what? But you, they don't even know. You already talked to a psychic about this. So now they trying to show up. And you been, look, I'm getting both of these cards where they just flying up on them. Like, look what the cat drug in. What? Look what the damn bird drug in. Probably came to the door with a trench coat on and nothing else. Like, hey, babe. I know you've been waiting on me. I'm finally here. And you like, actually, I was just about to tell you this cycle is closed. And the cycle just closed over there, too. Well, I'll be down. The plot twist is the player got played. Let's find out the outcome of these situations. <laughs> I'm just so through. And this is not playing out the way they planned. This person thought that they was Don Juan, Poppy Shine, Pooh, or Big Bahama Mama juggling with a husband and a boyfriend or a girlfriend and a wife. And my mama, my mama, wow, the player got played. The player got played. Well, I see. I'm just so shocked. I don't even know which deck to pick up. Okay, I'm picking up the sacred. What is this called? The sacred destiny oracle by Denise Lynn. Okay, Spirit, what is going to be the outcome between Libra and their primary person? final outcome between Libra and their primary person. Okay, diligence. Okay, they really want you back. They're not playing, Libra. They back to you and because they know that this is for sure done, they was already done with this person. I just feel like they've been stalling for too long for you. You got curious. You went to a psychic. The psychic told you what's up. Like, look, she never leaving him. And she, the choice was taken from them. Excuse me. The choice was taken away from them because the person that they were dealing with found out about you. And they like, you know what? Uh -uh. I knew your ass was hanging around with them raggedy heifer. Not trying to call you a raggedy heifer, but I'm just saying that's what they 
That's what they partner said, Libra, not me. What is the final outcome between Libra and their third party? Now, I feel like Libra's third party is just a, a spiritual advisor. What is the outcome between Libra and their third party? Courage. So I just feel like they gave you the strength that you needed. You know, like I said, they were some type of spiritual advisor coming up as the high priestess, maybe a tarot card reader. You know, I feel like this person, they went the extra mile. You know, maybe they gave you a reading, but maybe they gave some advice outside of that reading just to let you know, like, you can really do it. You know, you don't have to be afraid. Yeah, you know, going from being, you know, waiting from this person to like closing a chapter or uh, putting up boundaries, maybe kind of scary, but it's worth it because honestly, you worth, the, you worth a commitment that this person ain't giving to you, you know? So that's the thing in the situation here. All right, so let's get the final outcome between... I can't even say it, so let me put this back. Okay, the outcome between the cross watcher and the cross oh, the cross watcher and their third party. That's a divorce. They're gonna be celebrating the divorce. Damn. But you gotta think about it, Libra. If they was like this towards their partner, biding time with them or sticking around but hanging with you stand still so you know what's crazy is that they might not even go through with that divorce either so you was right you was right to close the door on them because you know what's crazy is that this is like some type of stork looking bird so they could be trying to go through it with a divorce and here come your partner i'm pregnant or whatever because protection is also in reverse so that's another thing look i ain't even gonna go there at the end of the day i hope this provided some type of clarity um, confirmation or a heads up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out in the next one.